Here's a simple stoplight program where one button gives you a green light, the other button transitions from yellow to red. And we're going to be making this with a micro bit and with makecode.microsoft.org. I'll start with the red LED. Uh, notice one leg of it is longer than the other. I can never remember which one is which, so I normally just have to test it out. Now, just to keep myself from getting confused, I'm going to connect the red wire to the red LED, and I'll go ahead and plug that into the 3 volt here. And then I'm going to take the other end of the LED, and uh, for ground I'm going to be using black and white because I don't have enough of either one. So I'll plug that into ground, and then I'll take the other end of it and plug it into the other side of the LED. Okay, so that's working without any code at all, just with the 3 volt and the ground. And once I've got it working, I can go on to the yellow. I'm going to have red, yellow, and green for my stoplight. So again, following the same pattern, I'm going to take the yellow wire to hook to the positive end of the yellow LED. And then I've got another black wire I can use for its ground. Now notice the micro bit only has one ground location. Here, I'm just going to scoot that one over to pin 0, and I'll go ahead and put yellow on pin 1. And since I only have one ground, I'm going to have to share them. So I'm going to take this other end of a new black wire, and I'm going to hook it onto the top of this old black wire. And now I'm going to scoot this yellow one over and make sure that it's wired upright. And then once I've got the light firing on the 3 volt, yeah, it looks good. Now I can move it back over to pin 1 so that it can be properly coded. Now I've got the green light to go, so let me see if I can find a green wire here. There we go, green wire hooked to my green LED, and I'll start it on the 3 volt, and then when it's working I'll scoot it over to the 2 pin. Now I ran out of black wire, so I'm going to have to use a white to test this one. So black and white are my ground. I'll go ahead and hook this end to the LED, and I'll just tap the other end to check that it's working. Yeah, it's firing up, so that's good. So I can go ahead and move the green over to pin 2. The 3 volt is always going to light up. The other ones are going to light up when we have coded them. Okay, so everything's wired up and ready to go. I have my red LED to pin 0, my yellow to pin 1, and my green to pin 2, and I'm ready to roll. I'm going to be coding this at a website called makecode.microbit.org, and I'm going to be in the pins section. There's very little code that really needs to be done in this, uh, but pins refer to these little guys down here. I'm going to be coding pin 0, pin 1, and pin 2, because that's where I have my red, yellow, and green LEDs. All right, so I'm just going to drag up the digital right, and I'm just going to set my start conditions. So when the program comes on, I want pin 0, which is red, to be on, so I'll slide it over to 1. And then I just need two more of these, so I'm going to duplicate, and pin 1, which is my yellow, I'll turn it off, pin 2, which is my green, I'm going to turn it off. So we're going to start at a red light situation. So every time you turn it on, you'll have that one. Okay, now I need a way to change it from a red light to a green light, and I'm going to use the A and B buttons that I referenced earlier. So I'll grab this one under the input section, and then I think I'll move this on start down to the bottom since I'm pretty much done with it. Now one thing I want to point out is, you see how this one on the right here is grayed out, it's because they're currently both set to the letter A, and you can only have one set to A. So as soon as I switch that to B, it will become active. Okay, so now I just need to do, it's going to be the same bit of code over and over, it's just going to be that digital right pin in the proper combination. So for the A button, that'll be our green light. So we'll set red to off, which it already is, duplicate this, we want to make sure that our green comes on, so that's our pin 2. So whenever we hit the A button, Red's going to go off, and green's going to go on. And that one's basically done. And now we need our B button. What happens when the light turns red? Well, first of all, we want to turn the green off. So that's our pin 2. And it's nice to have this little bit down here for you as a reference in case you forget which color is which. So we're turning the green off, and we're turning the yellow on, right? Because we have that transition from green to red. And here we're going to put in a pause. And the reason for the pause is so that there's a little bit of time while yellow can be active before red turns on. It's that sneaking through the red light time. And I just keep duplicating because I'm just going to keep using that same digital right. So now we've got the yellow light on. We wait half a second. And now we're going to turn the red light on and uh, we're going to download it. Looks like I forgot to turn the yellow light off, but we'll see that happen in a second. So down here at the bottom, it's going to start as untitled. You should give it a new name, call it stoplight or something, and then you'll need to click download. Now I'm doing this on a Chrome device, but for Windows it would be the same thing. When it downloads, click show in folder, and on Windows and on Chrome, in both situations, when you click show in folder, you're going to see 
all the stuff's going to pop up. You can ignore all that and just click show in folder. And you're going to see over here on the side that micro bit is a drive, kind of like a USB plugged in. It should automatically take you to the file. In my case, I have to scroll down just a hair from where it put me, and there's micro bit stoplight dot hex. A hex file is a micro bit file. Just click and drag it over to the micro bit drive, and it will say copy pending. And once it copies, it will auto eject. And then you can close this little tab and close up here. And you should be working. So now I'll pull this one up. When I hit the A button, my green light comes on. And when I hit B, it flashes yellow and then red. And there, notice that the yellow should have gone off before the red did. So I think I need to make one quick adjustment right in here. I should have turned the yellow light off as well. So this bit of code when you hit B turns the green light off and turns the yellow light on. And you wait a second right here. Then the yellow light should go off. That's the part I forgot. And the red light comes on. So just one more digital right to turn the yellow off. And yellow is my pin one. Let me get this screen out of the way here. And I'll have to re-download. So I'll call this stoplight two and go through the process one more time. Download, show in folder, and then I will drag, drag the file, the hex file, over to the micro bit. And as soon as it's finished copying, we should be done. Now let's try A and B again. Now A is our green light, B is our yellow, and then red light. Okay, looks like it's working.